So hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Life and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Okay, right, let's... It's just a door to the balcony. Let's head out to the balcony. Oh, <laughs> it's not really a balcony. How do you Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Okay. Come on, don't be the one to fall. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? <laughs> Shouldn't think so. It's good to be moving. for whatever's coming. I got a lot of pain inside me, Lee. I'd like to get even a little bit of it out. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. That's sketchy. does not look very well. If I wait for them to cross, can I just go after them? And now we cross. It's still going to break, isn't it? Oh. That was horrible. River Street's just up ahead. Of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> That's good. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. You know what that thing means to finding her? We know where she is. For now. Guys. Doc, I am sorry. Whatever, man. Ah, fuck it. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Uh, can I use the bridge? There's a pole. Yeah, sure, that will work. What? Grab what? onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. Aw, oh, Ken. What are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Do you fucking hear me? Ok. 
Kenny. Get Kenny. Uh. You gotta run, man. Go. We'll find a way to get you. in after him. We can't. We have to. Lee! Go! <laughs> Where... Where'd he go? We don't know. He could be down there still. He... He could be on the run. He could be gone. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... He better not be dead. Oh, he probably is. God... Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best, you know that. What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. You mean you know why Kenny did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Yeah. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. You're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. Uh, I'll go first. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Uh. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Uh. Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. 
A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if? Don't what if. I'll meet you. I can't remember where she was. I can't actually get in any of these rooms. Oh, apparently I can only go to this room. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay, listen. So there's a bit of string. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Uh. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. I don't trust this guy. Do you know who I am? No, I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? 
A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm gonna sympathize. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Um. No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! Do you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. It's not happening. You're crazy. 
keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... Um, isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. Uh... You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> oh! I can't press it any faster than this. Come on. Son of a bitch! Just go away! Die! Nicely done, Clem. Get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Okay. Whew. Clementine. Which way out? Through there. Okay, I already knew that, but sure. Oh God. <gasps> Lost it, it didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Oh, it's ah. Uh... Oh no. That's nasty. Ugh. <sighs> 
Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. Or... I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. The walkie? The walkie? Can I not go? No! I left the walkie! Going to rain, like in, in the end series. Oh, careful now. One thing I have to notice is that even though I've been bitten, it's not like I look terrible. It looks like it's infecting me, but it's taking forever in comparison to everyone else. No. Why are we inside now? Lee, wake up! Please don't be dead. Please, no! Lee! Oh, I look I terrible. I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead, for sure. I look so bad. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. We can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll no, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> 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 See? Clementine, honey. What? What happened? No, 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 that's that's not no. No, no, no. Yes, Clem, it is. gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. Oh. I, I think there might be a way out over there. <laughs> but when he sits it. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Oh, she's so sweet. Look like I just chilling, watching. 
<clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But it would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Come on, Lee. Not now. Not now. I can't. You have to. Pam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Come on, Lee. I can't. We don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Oh. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Oh, no. Don't be afraid of him, honey. I was stuck. You're smart. He is it. You're smarter than all of them. The way out is through there, Clem. I know. Aha. Uh -huh. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There's keys. And a gun. You're gonna need both of those. Jump away if he gets close. Please. You can do it. Get him! 
Watch out! Oh, that's good. Uh, bat. Go on, Lee. That works too. Ooh. And again. One more. Another one. Okay. I did it. I got him. Great them. Good job. Strong, Clip. You, you can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you. Please, please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Ah, oh, do you shoot me or do you leave me? You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. Standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. And always keep moving. You're gonna want to find some place like the motor in, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also... What? What is it? Oh, that was emotional. That's it. Oh my god. 
That was brilliant. Oh, that ending. I genuinely have, like, teary eyes. It was so sad. Okay, this one's a bit different. Okay, so... Only 37% of players didn't remove these arm. Hmm, that's interesting. Considering that it doesn't actually work, I don't think. I think as soon as you're bitten, it just... That's it. None of that. Only 34% of players calmly argued with Kenny. I don't know why he'd argue with him. Okay. I like that. 80% of players kept the weapons. <laughs> See, we're all smart people. We know not to give up the weapons. 65% of players didn't kill the stranger. We did kill him. Or was there a way for Lee to kill him? Probably if I said I'm going to kill him. 60% uh, of players made sure Lee didn't turn. That only makes sense because my thought process would be is when you turn, I don't know whether it's actually a fact, but when you turn, you tend to go for the ones that you loved, so Lee would immediately go after Clementine. That only seems to make sense. Plus, wouldn't want to see him as a walker. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit the like button and hit that J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you all next time.